Hey, this is Scott Strong. I'm a certified trainer for The Training Farm. Today I'm going to show you how to change hair color in Photoshop. What we want to do is we want to start out by selecting the hair. We have a glamour shot of a woman with her hair being blown. So what we want to do is we want to select the hair first. Now there's a lot of different ways that you can do things in Photoshop, but we're just going to go for something kind of quick and easy right now. I'm going to start out by selecting the Quick Selection tool. And what that does is it acts as a brush that selects pixels. So I'm going to start by brushing through her hair. And don't worry if you select too much, we can go back in and deselect it. But we want a very loose and very general selection for the moment. Once you've made your big selection, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to remove some of the areas that got selected by mistake. So holding down Option on your keyboard, just go in and brush in these areas that got selected. If you need to add to the selection, just hit Shift on your keyboard and brush in. Once we're satisfied, we'll hit Refine Edge. That'll bring up a new window where we have our selection against the white background. So now what I want to do is I want to smooth out the selection a bit. We'll smooth out the edge and maybe feather it just a little bit. Hair is soft usually, so you want to have a nice soft edge. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Refine Radius brush. So I'm going to paint in the areas that I want to keep. It'll start to remove the gray. As you can see, as I work, Photoshop keeps making calculations. Once you have something that you're satisfied with, we want to output to a new layer. So I'm going to output to a new layer with layer mask. I like to work this non-destructively, so I want to put it on a new layer and that way I can change the layer mask to refine it even further. I'm going to hit OK. OK, so Photoshop has done its calculations and it has placed the image on a layer by itself with the layer mask. The mask is showing what is transparent and what is opaque. The black areas of the mask are transparent, the white areas are opaque. We still have our original image underneath the hair layer, so I'm just going to turn the original image on. The copy layer, I'm going to double click the name of it and I'm going to change it to hair.